healthy supply of nutrients is vital for seedling growth in the main nursery. Each seedling batch requires a custom fertilization program applied at regular intervals. Fertilizer should only be applied by well-trained teams using calibrated containers, avoiding any contact between seedlings and the applied fertilizer. Additional plant nutrients come from mulch. Mulch substitutions, like sawdust or other materials that are not decomposed, may immobilize nitrogen in the soil and should never be used. Palm kernel shell is best for mulching and should be applied at a depth of 2.5 centimeters around, but not touching seedlings. Additional benefits of applying palm kernel shell mulch include minimizing moisture loss, suppressing weed growth, and preventing erosion from irrigation. Before planting legume cover plants, a one-to-one -one ratio of rock phosphate is mixed with the seeds. BMP recommends 7 kilograms per hectare of cover plant seed mixtures. Seeds need to be evenly spaced between the palm rows in five drills. Depending on the terrain, additional silt pits may be required to capture eroded soil and surface runoff. One week after cover seed germination, 50 to 100 kilograms of NPK fertilizer is applied to each hectare to accelerate plant growth. Legumes with small dark colored leaves have a phosphorus deficiency induced by low soil fertility conditions. To correct this, one ton of reactive rock phosphate is applied. Necessary investments in phosphate fertilizers will be quickly recovered through the improvement of palm growth, nitrogen supply and the reduction of weeding costs. Growing palms need a steady supply of nutrients. The indigenous supply of nutrients from low fertility tropical soils usually cannot meet the nutrient demands of growing palms. So fertilizer supplements of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and magnesium will likely be required. Fertilizer should be spread evenly over hand weeded circles using calibrated cups. Dumping fertilizer into weeded circles results in very poor uptake as well as potentially damaging roots beneath the piles. Aside from traditional fertilizer, empty fruit bunches are used as organic fertilizer. During the first and second years of the immature phase, 25 tons of empty fruit bunches per hectare should be applied beginning soon after planting and annually thereafter. To more efficiently and accurately apply fertilizer, paths are established in every second palm interrow, providing accessibility for field workers and management staff. All palm rows need to be marked and numbered. Paths should be cleared three months after seedling planting. The uppermost 30 centimeters of soil is where most of the oil palm's feeder roots are found. This zone contains most of the plant available nutrients, particularly for less fertile tropical soils. Nutrient balance is also greatly impacted by the extraction of vital nutrients from the field in the form of organic matter. Organic matter content is a crucial component of healthy soil. During the life cycle of the plantation, large amounts of organic matter are removed from the plantation in the form of harvested fruit bunches. Much of these essential nutrients remain in mill effluent, empty bunches and decanter cake, which should be returned to the plantation. If the amount of nutrients removed exceeds the amount added or returned, the soil nutrient stocks are depleted and the system is not sustainable. In order for healthy nutrient levels to be maintained and stabilized, mineral fertilizer supplements are a necessary and important component of the yield making process. Fertilizer recommendations are based on census and field sampling. Fertilizer responses in oil palm are often very large, 
with a difference of up to 10 tons per hectare between unfertilized plots and plots receiving optimal fertilization. Using census data, fertilizer recommendations are prepared by qualified and experienced agronomists. Agronomists use BMP to integrate information on soil type, leaf and soil analysis, planting material, and fertilizer trials in order to develop site-specific fertilizer recommendations. Each type of fertilizer has its own individual application specifics. There are a number of ammonium-based fertilizers in use today, but one of these, urea, is particularly prone to volatilization. If urea is broadcast over frond stacks and comes into contact with organic debris or dead and decaying fronds, volatilization of nitrogen is exacerbated. These losses can be minimized by using appropriate application techniques or by using alternate sources of ammonium fertilizer like sulfate, chloride, or nitrate. In addition, long-term weather data should be examined in order to avoid months of high rainfall when planning for ammonium-based fertilizer application. If urea fertilizer must be used, it should be applied manually and spread evenly over weeded circles. Other nitrogen-based fertilizers can be applied mechanically once the palm canopy has closed, usually after seven years of age. Insufficient application, amount, placement, or timing of these fertilizers will result in further nitrogen deficiencies. Deficiencies in other minerals, such as copper, can be corrected by using sulfate as a basal fertilizer or through the application of foliar fertilizers. Agronomists usually recommend fertilizer application in 0.5 kilo increments, so workers should be trained to use properly calibrated containers. Managers should be aware that workers commonly over-apply fertilizer to the palms near the road, whilst palms at the center of the block may be neglected altogether. Improving supervision is key. Management should direct workers to alternate between applying fertilizer from the roads and from the block center paths. After application has been completed, management should check carefully that the correct quantity of fertilizer has been used in each block. Phosphate or potassium fertilizers are better suited for mechanical spreader application. These types of fertilizers need to be applied evenly over the soil in palm circles and inter-row areas, achieving maximum contact between the fertilizer and the palm's roots. In considering fertilizer ratios, Plantations may be weighing price fluctuations in fertilizers over palm nutrient needs. But unless cash flow dictates otherwise, BMP suggests focusing on optimum and balanced nutrition as a long-term consideration as yield-making operations take nearly four years. As a cost-saving measure, recycled crop residues, decanter cake and empty bunches are effective fertilizer substitutes. When applied in conjunction with mineral fertilizers, these crop residues provide nutrients and raw material for replenishing organic matter while helping to save fertilizer costs. Decanter cake is best applied in shallow pits between palms along the inter-row. To prevent spillage into the palm circle, which disrupts harvesting, decanter cake is transported by wheelbarrow and dumped into the pits. Empty fruit bunches are applied between palms in mats one bunch deep. As a general rule, an application of 40 tons of empty bunches per hectare provides sufficient phosphorus, potassium and magnesium, as well as half the palm's nitrogen requirements. Fertilizer and crop residue must be applied accurately and monitored closely throughout the plantation blocks. Keeping track of nutrient balance, what is removed compared to what is recycled, and how this balances with mineral fertilizers is hugely important. IPNI, the International Plant Nutrition Institute, has developed the 4R Nutrient Stewardship concept, which helps guide fertilizer application. 4R, the right fertilizer source applied at the right rate, in the right place, at the right time. Guidelines for best fertilization practices can also be found in the IPNI Oil Palm Handbook.
VMP, Immature Plant Management and Land Development Strategies. Smart, efficient, effective.